Laura and Claire Newell is with us. Good morning. Good morning. We're talking about something that makes me feel like I, I'm making people scared when they're going to a yes. new destination. And it's not really what I want to do, I wanna, but I want right. to give some tips because I love going to a new destination. I, you know how when you go to a place you've been before, it's so yeah. familiar and it's easy. For sure, for sure. But for me, the, the world, there's so many places to visit, so I want to go to new places all the time. Right. So there's some things that I do just to make sure that I, I feel safe. Yeah. And one of them is as soon as I walk into a hotel, I grab a little card and I put it in my purse so that any time I'm in a cab, I can say, there's no room for confusion because I may not speak the language. I can say, you want to go, go there. Yes. <laughs> want to go here. That's a good idea. It's actually. really simple and you can um, just even you can if also you write it down. Protect yourself from, from fraud as well because sometimes cab drivers will take the long route in a, in a city for tourists. I mean, well, that's one of the things is that I was going to bring up next is yeah. cabs. Yeah. Notoriously. And it's usually at the airport where someone will come up to you and say, hey, st hey, hey, do you want to get a cab, cab, cab? And at any airport, there's always a lineup that is actually a proper taxi queue. It's yeah. the legitimate one. They're licensed. They have the numbers on them. So that's the line you want to go to. So unless you've arranged for a car to pick you up ahead of time, and it's going to say Steve Darling, you know, on the yes. on the board, go into the proper taxi. I've always queue. wanted that to happen. It hasn't have happened you? yet. Oh, but someday. <laughs> yeah, one day. I can't even yeah. get my wife to do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, if you are taking public transit, so on the yeah. opposite uh, end of the spectrum, one of the things that I recommend is that you sit near the driver or at least near the exit. And it's just for safety. You need to sure. get off in a uh, really quickly or you're worried about you know who's gonna be on there it's sure. just just something to do leave your fancy jewelry at home not that you wear a lot of jewelry as a right. guy but girls like a, you know nice necklaces or their sure. fancy rings but the reality is is it shouldn't be it's you, you are a target you have, you've talked about this before that sometimes you'll wear cheap costume jewelry that looks Right, you a lot I, better because that if so, if something does happen, at least you're not out a lot of money. Exactly, and you you've known me for a long time, so yeah. you've probably heard the story that I actually have a ring with that's I uh, use as my traveling engagement ring, right. and it's got a fake, it's got a cubic in it, and yes. I would never take my real ring, right. or real earrings, Good or anything. Idea, yeah. Um, the other thing is clean out your wallet before you go. So I do two things with my wallet. First, I clean it out of all receipts and anything I don't need. You don't need your uh, social insurance card when you're traveling. So just take out anything you're not going to need. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you, at most, you might need a couple of credit cards if you have two different credit cards, um, like a Visa and a MasterCard or whatever it is that you personally have, your debit card and some cash with you. Mm -hmm. But you don't need all the other things, so clean that out before you go. And then once you actually get to the hotel, take out anything you don't need and extra cash. Like, don't take both credit cards out with you. If for some unfortunate reason it's stolen, you haven't lost everything. Right. And that's one of the things that's really important. Um, bring extra contacts and glasses. So this, I'm speaking from experience. I, one time, brought two pairs of contacts with me and that was all. I, I hated wearing my glasses before I had laser, so yeah. I always had contacts. I ripped both pairs, and oh, no. for five days of my trip, I didn't have it. So bring that pair of glasses, bring extra contacts. You need to be aware of your surroundings. It's a sure. safety issue more than anything Definitely. else. And trust your instincts. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Mm -hmm. So if there's crowds or um, p a, a political demonstration going on or walking in an unlit area, you wouldn't do it at home. Why do it away when you're traveling? Because well, I'm sure a lot of people think, oh, let's be a part of this. And then all oh, of a sudden yeah. it turns ugly and you can't get out or you're, you're caught in the middle of something or you may be arrested or right. something like that. Well, I, I got all of a sudden scared. There was a lot of people crowding around a ho my hotel when I was down in South America in one location. I was actually with my parents and my family. And I walked out. It was fine. It ended up being a pride parade, oh. but I was thinking, oh, what are all these crowd, these people sure, around my yeah. hotel in Quito? And so you have to be aware of your surroundings, no matter where you're going. And uh, sorry, they're just on that point. Always look in the elevator because they sometimes will put out um, things in the elevator, sometimes in English that'll say, "Here's what's happening today." You might notice this outside the hotel, right. or something like that. Just something you can keep an eye on. Yeah, and always ask concierge. And the one big thing is that if you look like a tourist, like you don't know where you're going, you are a target. Yeah. So if you're going to be trying to figure out the route, do it in a hotel room or go and ask somebody if you happen to be in the store, which is the way that I get to a taxi stand rather than trying to figure it out on the street. Okay. Do we have some time for some deals? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's take a look.